Hi, this is Chris. After my previous videos, I had a number of questions on how to actually set up omnichannel services in the cloud. And there are, there are several options to doing that. There are specific mobile services like APG and PARS. But what I will focus on here is to set up your own virtual machine, your own server in the cloud. And I've chosen the Amazon cloud. And I will do this fairly quickly, but if you want more details, uh, I always keep um, the Amazon, official Amazon YouTube channel available so that I can watch the videos. And I, I recommend you do that too, because there are many good videos there uh, if you want more details. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm assuming that you already have an account and that you can get by going to awsamazon.com and click the sign up button and then follow the instructions and even if you need to supply a credit card uh, you will not be charged unless you go above the free tier usage and if you want to be sure don't hesitate to set up like a billing alarm uh, for one cent or something and also note that the free tier is only valid for one year. Uh, yes, also note that even if you remove your credit card from the account, you will not be, uh, that will not prevent Amazon from charging it. So, okay, that was uh, this, the disclaimer part. So when you logged in, uh, you select the uh, management console and then you select the EC2, which is the Elastic Computing Cloud. And that's where we uh, want to set up our virtual server. So here you can see the, the dashboard. And what we want to do here is to first make sure that we are in the correct region. And here I've selected the the cheapest region which is uh, North Car uh, North Virginia and uh, then I just go to launch instance and even if I can select here any operating system like Windows or Unix I'm gonna select one of the most popular Ubuntu versions which is uh, 12.04 long-term support and the 64-bit version and if I select here uh, that I only want the, uh, the free tier stuff, I will be suggested the micro instance. And I will go with that. And then there are some uh, selections here. I will go with the default, what will be usually fine if you're doing a, a test. And the uh, storage size is usually fine as well. And then I just select a name for the instance. I'm selecting demo. Now let's do test. And then I can uh, uh, also set up the security group, which is uh, more or less the, the firewall. So let's call that test as well. And uh, the description will be test as well. And here I will add, as you can see, I can select um, you know, it's already opened the port 22 to, to do SSH. But what I want to do is add the HTTP as well, which is port 80 here. And then I move on. And then I get a summary here of uh, what I've selected. So I'm fine with that. And when I try to launch this, I uh, get a question to create a new key pair. And this is actually really nice. Instead of logging on with the username and password, I can log on with the, with the secure key pair file. So I'll just uh, um, name that test. And then I, I uh, download that. And uh, when that's downloaded, I launch the instance. And as you can see, that will uh, probably take a while. Okay, so now the new instance is, is running. 
So the first thing I want to do is uh, I enter the terminal. I want to make sure that the key file is protected. And I do that with, um, with this command. And then I want to connect to the new instance. And uh, I do that with the, the default Ubuntu user and the IP address of the instance. So I'll just go and grab that here. And there. Like that. And then I'm asked if I'm sure I want to connect to it. And there I'm connected to the new instance. So the first thing I want to do is to make sure that the operating system is, is, is up to date. And then I want to make sure we are upgraded to the latest version of the OS. And here comes uh, the important part and that's uh, installing the the lamp server which is uh, uh, which is the Apache web servers uh, the server and the PHP and the MySQL database etc and and please note the carrot at the end there which is important and here you asked for a default the the password for the root user of uh, the mysql database and with that install we're actually um, going to check that the web server so we go back to the web browser and we just browse to the ip address that we were giving and we can see that the web server is up so uh, let's uh, to simplify let's make sure that and the uh, default user has uh, full rights in the root uh, the 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 root folder of the of the web server uh, with that command and then let's just move to that directory and let's create a simple uh, uh, PHP file that will show the info about the server yes, like that PHP and with that in place we can actually go back to the server here and we'll just say let's see the info and there you can see that we have uh, um, uh, a server running PHP with the Apache server and with that you have a server running in the Amazon cloud ready to deploy your omni-channel services thank you